Alright, in this episode I'm going to be talking about um, C in and C out. Okay, and those are the functions that the programmer or the coder uses to output, to, to print output, and to take input uh, in his program. And they're very simple input output functions, but they're very useful, okay, and it's the primary primary way of inputting and outputting information. So in order to you well let's first of all we can get rid of this. We don't really need that. And let's take a look at what's inside our int main function. Our this is called the main function. And inside we have STD, that's not sexually transmitted disease, it stands for standard. We have standard colon colon C out, that's not count, it's C out. Um, this is the insertion operator, insertion, exertion, extraction, I forget which one. But it's it's the less than and less than symbols. And then we have text in quote, uh, quotes, double quotes. And this text is called a string literal because it is literally a string of characters. And then we end it with a semicolon. The next line we have return zero, and that ends with a semicolon. And you might be thinking, well, if you're completely new to programming, you might be thinking, what the heck is with the semicolons? Well, the semicolons are like periods in English in English sentences. If you're writing sentences, they all end in periods. In programming, all your statements end in semicolons to let the compiler know that this statement um, is done executing or finish it right here or whatever. Um, Excuse me. Going back to input and output in C++, there is one way to output, and that is well right here. STD colon colon C out. I believe that is the extraction operator, and then you type a string literal in double quotes. So if I run this program like I did before, okay, it's just going to print to our output. It'll build and then I'll print hello comma world. Program ended with exit code zero. And we could add more stuff. We could say std colon colon c out. Uh, my name is David. That is my name. And then backslash n and quote and then semicolon. And if we run it, our new output is hello world. My name is David. Just like that. And I want to let you know right now that these this um, backslash n is a command that means new line. So when the compiler prints this, it's going to print a new line when it gets to backslash n. And it look, here's what happens when you don't have the backslash n on the on your final line. You're going to have this program ended with exit code zero attached to your ending sentence. So it's all always important to have that backslash n in there. Um, and you might be thinking, oh my goodness, std colon colon c out extraction operator and then the string and then semicolon, that's a lot to remember. And you can actually simplify this. Um, right below your pound include statements, you can say using namespace standard semicolon. And when you do that, you can, if you want, get rid of the S all the std colon colons and just have c out this this and this some program you might be thinking well why the heck would any programmer do it the other way why would they do it std colon colon c out you know and there is a good reason i mean some say that if you're doing it like this if you're just declare if you're just saying i'm using this standard namespace in the very beginning of your program they call it um i think it's clogging the namespace or is it clog yeah clogging the namespace or something like that and I won't get into much detail about that right now because namespaces are kind of advanced for us uh, where we're at right now. All you need to know is that there are many ways you can use C out. There's if you if you use the using namespace std right below your your pound includes. Okay, you can do it that way. You can do it this way with the std colon colon and then your command. And there is yet another way using std colon colon c out using std colon colon c in when we use c in. You can do it that way. 
And if you do it this way, you won't be clogging the namespace as much because you're not importing the entire, st the entire standard namespace. You're just importing these commands from the standard namespace. Um, and then you can use them again like this. But some programmers prefer this. I prefer just, you know, the all-inclusive using or uh, using namespace std. I like that. So whatever, you know, if you're not into typing, this might be the best option for you. That way you only have to type C out and C in. And then the other commands that can be found in the standard namespace. Um, to take input, type C in, and then the insertion operator, I believe is the name for that. And oh, before we do that, we have to declare a, let's say, let's do numbers. So to make a number variable, type int int is short for integer and then I don't know number equals zero semicolon and for C in we're going to in, we're going to take a number in and we're going to put it in the variable named number and I'm going to say enter an integer and I don't really want that I do want a space all right, and then we can say C out. And L is a command that means end line. It's the same thing as backslash n. It'll print a new line. So after we input an integer, we're going to make a new line. And on that line, well, I'll make two new lines. And on the second line, we're going to say you, oh, string literal, you input and then we're going to output what we input for number but we have to do that oh I'm gonna do backslash in there and now when we run this it'll say hello world enter an integer and if I put my cursor there I'm gonna say 561 or whatever press enter and it's gonna tell me your input was 561 program ended with this code all right, good. So C in is to take in input from the user, typed input. C out is to output um, anything really, text, the value of a, of a variable, numbers, etc. We'll get in, I'll get more into variables um, and initialization and declarations and stuff like that in the next video. So stay tuned.